Hare Krishna. To be caught unawares occasionally is condonable. To be caught unawares regularly is condemnable. Suppose somebody is a security guard in a relatively safe locality and then suddenly some group of thieves come in, stun the security guard and rob something from that place. So we would consider uh, that to be bad, that would be a lapse on the part of the security guard. But if there were no, there was no inkling that such a attack was going to happen, then uh, we could excuse the super security guard. We would condone it. Okay, overlook it. Be careful in future. But suppose the locality itself was bad. There are thieves are known to be in the locality, or if we know that a particular border area of a country is, uh, is prone to incursions from invaders, from infiltrators. And despite knowing this, if the security guards are not, uh, are not aware, are not alert, if they are caught unawares, they are caught napping, then that would not be condonable. That would be condemnable. That would be a dereliction of duty. You know there is danger and you didn't guard. So, if we consider our situation is also similar that our consciousness is like the territory need to, that needs to be guarded and we need to be vigilant we need to know that outside the world out in the outside world there are temptations which are just waiting to sneak in or swoop into our consciousness sneak in means they come in stealthily swoop in means they come in forcefully but either way, they want to plunder our consciousness. And um, now there are certain places where temptations are more likely to overpower us. Say, for example, if a person is, an, is prone to uh, alcoholism, then if they're going to a party where alcohol is being served, then they are more vulnerable and they have to be more alert at that time. So if a person is recovering from alcoholism and they occasionally succumb, well, that might be understandable. But if every time they go to a get together and every time they drink, and then, then they would be asked, are you serious about recovery or do you want to just continue what you are? It would not be condonable, it will be condemnable. The same principle applies to us. We also have to guard ourselves. And especially in today's world, with devices readily available for us, all kinds of temptations can come to us just by a few clicks. So we might, somebody might spend huge amounts of money on, on shopping online without even moving out of their house. They may actually spend enough to uh, actually empty their house. It's sometimes can be that catastrophic. So if somebody succumbs occasionally, especially in unguarded movements, that could be understandable. If, but if you know that we are prone to a particular weakness, we are prone to a particular indulgence, then we need to be especially careful. If we are not careful, then we will become a fool. We will be, we will be tricked and deluded and degraded. So the Bhagavad Gita warns us that we need to have constant caution. In 2.68 it says, Tasmad yasya maha baho nigruhitani sarvashaha indriyan indriyarthebhyas tasya pragya pratishthita The previous verse gives the example that just as a person is on a boat is swept away by a stormy wind. Uh, a boat is swept away by a stormy wind. Similarly, our consciousness is swept away by worldly desires. Indriyanam hi charatam. Yanmano anavidhiyate tadasya harati pragyam vayur navamivambhasi. So, if a, boat, boats, uh, a boatman is not aware that this is, sea is stormy and then they got in, get caught in a storm, that could be condonable. But if they know that the sea is stormy and still they go in and they don't take basic precautions, then that is condemnable. So, we live in a stormy ocean of material existence. And we need to guard ourselves. 
we all know what kind of storms trouble us <clears throat> we all know which particular temptations especially delude us create stormy desires within us and we need to guard ourselves from them when we are vigilant then we will we will be protected of course the best way to practice vigilance is to focus on transcendence when we absorb ourselves in krishna and focus on trying to serve him then that gives us a absorption that makes us immune or at least less vulnerable to temptation thank you hare krishna